With the new year comes the loss of a state tax incentive to make movies right here in North Carolina. As News 13's Rex Hodge reports, local film offices are now worried about losing revenue and jobs to neighboring states. Last summer, Zach Galifianakis filmed a scene in Waynesville for Masterminds, a comedy based on a real-life armored car heist in North Carolina due out later this year. Residents know when Hollywood comes to town, it helps the local economy. Because they do come to the restaurants and they do shop in the shops and they buy supplies that they need. And it also is fun to see on the screen. <laughs> but at the end of 2014, the General Assembly ended a 25% tax incentive for film and TV projects. They changed the film incentive program into a grant program, which limits um, your minimums of what you can spend in your budget on these major feature films. Becky Seymour runs Haywood County's film office. She says the change means a lot less money to attract projects. That's a difference of millions and millions and millions of dollars, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. And a lot of other states have upped their ante when it comes to film incentives. Um, I personally know a lot of people who have moved to Georgia in order to work on projects. She says the grant system may help attract some smaller productions. Haywood County hosts TV shows Hillbilly Blood and What's in the Barn. When it comes to the really large ones that are going to bring in the big bucks and bring in a lot of jobs and be able to use a lot of local resources, um, unfortunately, I, I fear that that is not going to remain as high as it has been. Residents say they understand tight budgets. If the money was going to go somewhere else that was like towards education or something, I can understand it. But they see the benefit of local movie making, too. But it does help tourism, too, because it shows parts of North Carolina, like the Hunger Games did. In Haywood County, Rex Hodge, News 13. Haywood County's film office says it will continue efforts to attract projects. Seymour says she's faithful they'll still come due to so much beauty North Carolina has to offer.